Again, we're going to draw the portrait, but this time we're going to give an example of the eyes looking in the upward position. So we're going to start the portrait again with an oval. And again, we're going to have the portrait looking forward, so we want to break the head in half symmetrically, with the line down the middle. And again, our eyes are in the middle of the head, so we're still going to go into the middle of the head with a mark. But like previously, we had the arc going downward when it was looking in the downward position. This time, we're going to make it look like in the upward position. So we're going to bring our eyes up into this area. And this is going to show the bottom of the chin more, as our head it will be tilted upward. As we learned before, we have five eyes across, so again we're going to make marks where our eyes are, and we'll add our eyes in that position. Remember, this position where we're putting your eyes is the top of the eye. So we're going to put an eye in here. We're going to draw the pupil in here. In here. And there's one of our eyes. We can kind of draw a little bit of a line going across so we know where the eye is going to be. And we can draw the second eye. It's always tough to make the same shape of the eye. We're trying to attempt here. And then we'll do another. Here's the bottom of the eye. Again, you may see a little bit more of the top of the eye here because you actually look at it from the uh, you're looking in the upward position. For this example, now we really have to determine where the chin is going to be. And since we move this up around that much space from here to here, okay, we're going to need to move the chin up to about here because we need to take up that much space. So our chin line actually is going to be somewhere in this area right in here. So we had to move the head up. So our face actually is going to be somewhere in this position. And we'll bring that back down. That being said, now we're going to have to break up from here to that chin line. We have to break it up into thirds. I'm just going to erase this so you don't get confused there. Now I'm going to break this up into one third areas. So we're going to go a third here and a third here. And this is going to show where our mouth is and our nose is. Nose is going to be drawn a little differently because it's going to be drawn from in the upper position. So you can see the bottom of the nose much more in this position. And we're going to be, in another lesson, just draw noses and eyes to get those positions better of when you will be drawing from the upward position and the downward position. You see the nostrils are very apparent in the upward position. Remember, the nostrils should be right around the end of the eyes. So right around the end of the eyes, that's where your nostril position is going to be. Your ball of your nose is going to be way up here this time. You're seeing more of the bottom of the nose. And our nose is going to come up, and then we're still going to draw the bridge the same way, and we're still going to bring it up to the eyebrows. So it makes that socket within the eyes. Put some more of a nostril on it here, a little bit more of a nostril on it here, and then later on, when we come back to shading, we will darken up those areas ourselves. So I'm just going to erase some of our lead lines. It starts to give it a little bit more form within the draw. And there we go. Now we want to kind of show that little part underneath our nose or our mouth. It's going to connect to that part, and that's going to kind of guide us to where our mouth is going to be. The mouth section. We know the, the mouth is the middle of the eyes, so if we draw a little bit of a line coming down from the middle of the eyes, down to there, and down to here, this is going to be the proportions of the mouth. So we're going to bring that out, and we're going to bring that out. So we're showing the proportions of the mouth coming out to those areas. Draw some nice lips here. And then we're going to draw the bottom of And we'll get rid of again some of the lead lines so we can start seeing that a little bit better how that is forming.
Um, our chin's going to be right about here because we did have to move that up. Remember, you had to move it up from here, here, so you need that same distance in the chin line. And then you're just going to have this part be more at the bottom of the neck. Now we can start structuring the, the face a little bit. So start structuring the head a little bit. We want to put some ears in. Remember, the ear is going to go along that same um, circular pattern. So your ear is actually going to be a lot lower in this drawing because of the arc of the face. So if you, you want to use that same arc here, your ear is going to come down more in this area in here because you want to use that same arc. So the ear is going to come in here. We're just going to draw that down and draw that in here. You got to mark it over here so it gives you that same distance. Watch, don't go too far out. Make your ears too far out. So she has that same distance now and your ears come down here. And we'll drop that in here. So now you can start seeing the shape of the face more if you start erasing some of these areas in here. You start seeing more of the structure. We'll thin it out a little bit. We're just using that as a general type of oval to get our shapes in. We'll bring this up a little bit. Coming across. We're not going to see as much of the forehead because we're going to be upward position. And we're only going to see this much of the forehead. We'll put some hair on in a minute. But it's going to be a little thinner there. We need to send this part down a little bit. And have to come in here. Bring this down so it's getting a little thick there. And square this off. Just a little bit more here. So we're forming this. Now we're just going to kind of add a little bit of shading to give a little bit more likeness. But it does, does show the angle of the face looking more upward in this position. So we're starting to have this. So let's just start shaping the face a little bit more, the head a little bit more. Do some contours. Put some contours in here and then we'll go to our shading pencil and we'll start adding some shading to it. So the cheekbone in here. It's down. And we'll go to our shading pencil a little bit and add some shading to it. Gray, so we can the and we'll start adding some shading to it from here. This will give you some depth now. You know we have some shading between the eyebrows, and we'll darken in some eyebrows. So we'll put some deeper eyebrows in here. So from here, come back. Deeper eyebrows in here. Darken this area in here. Shading around the bridge of the nose. As your, if you want your nose thinner, you just shade more. If you want it thicker, you just shade less. You're always going to have some light underneath the nose, shadow underneath the nose, I'm sorry. And our nostrils will be fairly dark in this case. Here. Shade from here. Like this. We'll do cheekbones and darken the side from here. And then shade the side a little bit. Underneath, really structuring. Should come all the way up to so the chin. This here, just quickly shaving this for you. Let's give you a little bit more structure. And then we can do a highlight. Give the eyes a little bit of life, and that's pretty much it. And that would be the figure or the model looking in the upward position. Let's add quickly, just add a little bit of a neckline here. So we need the neck. That's your shading tool. Shape a little bit of neck just to. And there's the portrait in the upright position. 